know if they're going to give you something that's not continuous. Uh, but I need to look at the decreasing. So if I look, I think I'm going to do the derivative. This is my first derivative test. Or could I just look at my terms? So I can do e to the first, 1 over e to the second, 1 over e to the third, 1 over e to the fourth. So let's pretend I don't have a calculator. Think about what's going on there. Okay? This is 2.718. Over 2.718. This is 2.718 squared. So is this number getting bigger or smaller on the bottom? Bigger. bigger, which means overall the term is getting smaller. So is it decreasing? Okay, so we just checked off decreasing. Okay, so now I know I can actually perform my integral test. It meets the conditions to do that. Okay, so remember my integral test, I got to go from one, actually, I'm just to infinity of one, and actually it's going to go e to the negative n, right? Actually, we throw an x in there instead of an n. <laughs> right, and then we remember we find the limit as v approaches infinity. This is the proper way to do it. Negative x, yeah. All right, what am I going to need on this one? U sub. U sub, are you going to be the negative x? So d u is going to be negative dx. The only thing I really just need to add in is a Negative. I'm not going to actually do these. Okay. Yeah, the negative. Limit as v approaches infinity. When I integrate e to the negative x, I get negative e to the negative x, and then I'm going to move on to v. Limit as v approaches infinity. Uh, let's see, I probably want to move this downstairs before I sell it to you, right? Limit as What am I going to put in for the B? Okay, so negative 1 over E to the infinity minus 1 over E. What's this going to become? That's 0. So remember, it either had to equal infinity or not equal infinity. It doesn't equal infinity, so what happens? Look at your chart that you made. It converges. Yeah. As long as you do, it's positive continuous. Okay. Like I said, if you're not sure what test to use, you can really use anything group ratio and ECSD limited with minus. Okay. So, not continuous. Yeah, right. 
So did it decrease? Yes. And again, I'm not doing any fancy notation. I'm just, I'm, I'm just checking it. I'm writing down enough that I think, can think about it out loud or think about it in my head. So it therefore it converges. All right. What else?
know that the, I got to decide which one's bigger and which one's smaller, right? So I have to hope that because it was B of converged, I'm looking for bigger to converge, right? So I mean, I'm really hoping that 1 over n squared is bigger. So the way I did that was I started putting some numbers in and checking out the terms, okay? It needs to trend to be bigger, okay? So if I put in a 1, I get 1 half, right? This is one. If I put in two, I would get one fifth and one and three one tenth. Okay, so if I did the same thing here, I put in a two, I would get one fourth, and if I put in a three, yeah, so it'll be still always bigger on the right side. So my bigger converge, so therefore it converges. Again, not nearly the language I used when we were going through the notes.